Hello there guys, welcome to Dave's Easy Tutorials. This video is for the basic proofing tools in Word 2010. Uh, have a look at the little document that I've got on screen. Notice you've got these little red wavy lines here. These are spelling errors. Notice the ones down here, your green ones, these are grammatical errors so the grammar is incorrect and occasionally you will see some of them with a blue underline if it's a blue underline it's indicating there's an inconsistency in formatting so but we're not covering that right now I'm just telling you what it is now the ones we're covering is the spelling which is red and the grammar which is green now when I'm checking a document me personally I use the F keys at the top of your keyboard and I just press the F7 and that goes and gets me the spell checker the spell checker will automatically check the grammar because I've got the little tick here so the check grammar that's why it's checking spelling and grammar but that is imperative that you do that as well because I'll show you why in a second now F7 is used by the keyboard and after a while you may want to use it that way but if you're first coming into and you're new to Word you want to use the mouse you go up to the ribbon you come across to review tab you click the review tab you come down to the proofing group which is here and there you go the speller and grammar you just click on that little button and there it goes and it checks your grammar now what it does here guys it's looking just read this here along the top it tells you what's what and it's saying not in the dictionary so it doesn't like the word now if it doesn't like the word what it will do it will go and find suggestions if it has any and it'll say which one of these is it and then you can pick whichever one suits you the best and then you can just simply go and say change now these buttons down here are very important and what you've got to see here is ignore once meaning it would just ignore this one occurrence of that spelling ignore all would ignore all the occurrences of the word that spelled the same way as this you could add it to the dictionary so this might be a company name or a, a product within the company that word doesn't recognize as a word all you do is add it to the dictionary and it'll never pick this word up again in any documents uh, as long as it's on this computer because you've added it to the dictionary if you are adding words to the dictionary just make sure they are spelt correctly as you add them uh, change like I've said will change this one occurrence change all would change as many occurrences as there was so if you add let's imagine five occurrences of this word uh, incorrectly spelt it would go and change them all now it might be that it's a regular occurrence with you and you keep changing and you keep making this same typo so what you do is you hit the autocorrect and you can add it automatically to the autocorrect and then the autocorrect will correct it as you're typing along now I'm going to walk you through the autocorrect in my next video which is uh, setting the proofing options so have a little check of that out and that'll, you'll know how to work the autocorrect um, in my next video but at this occasion I'm just going to say change so I just want to change this one occurrence so I say change now it changes the word for me suggested now it goes down and it doesn't like the repeated words so we look there no I, I don't want to have two of the same words so I can delete or I could ignore um, but in this case I want to delete then it goes and it finds another not in the dictionary so it's spelling it's giving us suggestions down here it doesn't always give you suggestions sometimes it can't find suggestions and that's usually on uh, words that you use yourself within the company or names and things like that but if it does you can just literally say improve uh, yes that's the one we want so we'll change that and then it comes down to the grammar we know it's extra spaces between words because it's telling us here now there's also another problem on this same word now I'll change the spaces first we'll get rid of the spaces and it should go and pick us another one up now straight away look it's picked another error up and this one is the capitalization now it's saying that after a comma there shouldn't be a capital and that's exactly what it's suggesting here so you can click on that and then say change 
while I've got you in, again, like the spelling, you've got ignore once, so you could ignore this one occurrence. You can ignore the rule completely, so you're not worried about the rule. You can say, no, let's go to the next sentence, and we'll check the next sentence. You can change, or you could say, explain. Now, if you hit the explain button, what this does, it goes and gets you the help, and it tells you exactly what's going on here. This is really good. It does explain exactly what's what. Don't forget down here, check grammar. If you haven't got a tick in this box, it will not check the grammar. And you do need it. And trust me, you do need it. Now, what I will say to you is, on this occasion, we're just going to say change. So it goes and change. Then it goes away and it says that the spelling and grammar check is completed. So now it's all happy, unky dory with your document. Now, that is your proofing tool, and it is as easy as that to use. But never, under no circumstances, take that as gospel. Because it doesn't pick any, everything up. And you have to still proofread it by hand, because if you don't, you will get errors. Now, I'm going to highlight a error for, uh, an error for you, that this hasn't picked up, and it's so common. Now, notice here, we've got this word here, two. Now, it doesn't mean, yeah, it says access all the word commands in just two clicks. That is incorrect. Yeah? So, what should what it should say is TWR, two clicks. But the grammar, or, and the spelling didn't pick it up. Because it was a correct spell, it was a, a, a incorrect word that spells a correct word. So, just be very careful of it. Yeah, Don't take the proofing tools as 100% because it isn't. It's a great help and it's a great asset, but don't trust it. You still need to read that manually and pick up on any things like, little things like this, because it can catch you out. Um, that's it on the proofing tools. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to check me other videos out. So if you nip over to the check me other videos and you subscribe with us on our channel, we do do requests. So if you you know want to know how to do tables or mail merge anything like that, just go to my channel, subscribe, drop us an email request, and we'll do you a video as soon as we can. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.